What is it? If I'm going to steal a knife from the kidnappers, then I need to get onto the back of the dragon. There's a support strut there. If I could reach it, I'd be able to pull myself up. No problem. Here, take this. A whip? It's always served me well. You could use it as a rope. Then. A bull whip made of old leather. Look. A bull whip made of old leather. Looks as if it's seen a lot of action in its time. Remember? You know, I'm not being curt with you. I, I, yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Yes. I'll see you later. Love you too. Oh, by the gods, how I hate her. No, not much longer, Marcus. Not much longer. Soon you will have it in your hands. But you have to be careful, Bunkus. Mother is mistrustful. She has her agents everywhere. And you are talking to yourself. Better shut up. There appears to be some truth in the Gremlin story. It's vital that I rescue him. If I remain right here on the outside, then they won't be able to spot me from the driver's cabin. one of those swords, but I can't reach the stand without the sorcerer seeing me. A thin wooden stick with the flag of the shadow on me. The stick's been tied loosely to the railing. Got it, and the sorcerer hasn't noticed. A good two meter wooden stick, flexible and quite strong. the sword with the stick, but getting it over here would be a bit risky. The goblin would notice the stick and I'd have a knife in my stomach before I could say, uh-oh. An old cardboard box. It seems to be some kind of emergency kit if the dragon crash lands. There are a few moth-eaten blankets in the box, a bit of dried meat covered in white mold, and a blue and red potion, and... A line with a fish hook. It looks quite serviceable. I'll take it with me. A line about three meters long with a large rusty fish hook. The line still seems to be quite good. I'll knot the line to the tip of the stick and hey presto, I've got a fishing rod. I've tied the line with the hook onto the wooden stick. Now I've got a serviceable rod. Hey, McGuffin, 
What is it? So what is this discovery of yours, then? A great treasure? A weapon? I can't tell you. Too dangerous. And actually, no, I don't have it either. What do you mean? I found a clue in an old book as to where the artifact... where it is hidden. Artifact? It? This is getting more and more cliché. Cliché? A struggle of good against evil is never cliché. You mentioned your secret cellar. Is that where the book's hidden? Pretty risky. I've got a sword and can cut through the rope as soon as you're ready. Fine. I'm ready when you are. We're over the mountains. It's now or never. Are you really sure? I am. But if I don't survive or they catch me, then you'll have to fetch the book from my secret cellar and take it to the Archmage. Isn't this a strange coincidence? A young pretty elf walks through the woods unarmed and is suddenly caught up in an adventure. Don't talk, just cut me free! The right moment is close. There's the mountain. Good luck, MacGuffin. Hard at it, saving the I, world. I'm, I'm almost done, you. I can see. Beavering away, eh? <laughs> what were you this time? A knight riding high on his horse? Or one of those funny little mages again, eh? <laughs> hey, hero. I've got a job for you. A quest. Send my new house robot off on a rat hunt. That rat's got it in for my precious hops. And if I don't plant them, beer's going to be a wee bit scarce. I've never heard of a hero having to catch rats. You're not a hero yet, laddie. You're still my helper. And that being the case, you'd better get your act together. Then you can finish up here and go and have some more heroic daydreams. <laughs> I need to go and do a quality control check on barrels 2034 to 2038. I've got a feeling there might be something wrong with the 2030 batch. We'll see, we'll see. A thieving rat. Devious and dangerous. It always runs into its little hole when I get too close. A large crate. 
It must have been delivered as I, um, I swept. Let's see. Not a chance. I'll never get this crate open with my bare hands. The pipes run through the walls and floor. They are part of the central beer supply system, which runs through the whole bastion. Dwarfs are excellent stonemasons. That fireplace is proof. It's a map. It says the country's best pubs on it. It shows the area reaching from our beautiful White Ridge Mountains down to the sea, where the humans live on the coast. That's the master brewer's favourite spot. He likes to relax there in the evenings. The master brewer says these kettles are used to make beer. This is his private setup, and the proper ones are in the cellar. An old, rather dirty cooking pot. A pile of dirty dishes. The longer the other dwarves are away, the less attention the master brewer pays to things like this. I'd point it out to the master brewer, but then I'd be the one who ends up washing it all up. The stove isn't used much, so this morning the master brewer heated up a few beer sausages on it. A tin coffee pot. It hasn't been used in ages. And guaranteed not for coffee. The master brewer doesn't trust non-alcoholic drinks. The sun is pretty low. It'll be dark soon. Dwarven fast food. But I'm not hungry. Oh no, a very roughly knotted net with loose ends. Maybe it's used for fruit. Although I've never seen any fruit around here, the master brewer prefers heartier fare. Hmm, the coals in the oven have kept the stove warm. The stove is still a little warm. You couldn't cook anything on it, but you could eat something up. Newton slime. Maybe I should have thrown out the rest of that chocolate pudding. <laughs> 